are a number of different things that women can do to protect other women. I think one of the first things that we can do is to make ourselves uh, more knowledgeable about the vulnerabilities. Um, who is vulnerable? Where are they vulnerable? And um, how can we uh, use information as well as the different resources available to be able to protect ourselves? Support. Because, you know, sometimes we are going through stuff and, and you might be afraid to speak out. So if you know that you have that kind of support, a facility, institution, something, somebody you can go to, then I know definitely that they will speak out more and, you know, show some interest. We just have to keep each other in the loop. We have to watch each other's backs. And um, we have to be very vocal about things that have happened to us, whether it's in the workplace, whether it's out there in terms of crime. So be very vocal and frank and honest about it so that other women can be aware of what is happening and can know to protect themselves from particular dangers. So if you keep it to yourself and you don't share it, somebody else may be in danger and you perhaps could have avoided that danger for them. What we can do is just don't turn a blind eye um, any little thing that we see that we think, you know, if at f you see something and you just think for a minute that um, you should go and say something, just be brave and reach out and go and say something. Because I've had instances where I see people, uh, girls in their uniform acting a certain way and want to go over and have just been threatened by the type of behavior that they, they uh, are showing or um, you know, just being afraid to say something. So I think maybe if we just stop turning a blind eye.